In Creo Parametric, you can use cosmetic sketches to represent things like logos or serial numbers or other information that's going to be stamped or placed on surfaces in your model. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have an assembly. I want to create some cosmetic sketches in this part. Let me select it and then activate it. Alternatively, I could open up the part in its own separate window. And now to create a cosmetic sketch, we can go to the engineering overflow menu. And here we have cosmetic sketch. Right now I'm in sheet metal mode. You have this command in standard part mode as well. Let's click on it. And here we have the dialog box for the cosmetic sketch. Let me pick a surface to sketch on. And then I can choose, let me zoom into where I want to work. I will choose this surface to face the left side of the screen and then I will click the sketch button and here we are in sketch mode and it's asked me for some different references. Let me grab another surface from that part so that I have the necessary references. Let's close the references dialog box. All right, and now before I actually bring in geometry for my first cosmetic sketch, I wanna point out that if you go to the setup menu, we have an option down here for under constrained mode. And a lot of times when you're doing a cosmetic sketch, you're bringing in maybe a section of a logo or maybe you're using a DXF file. It's going to have a lot of different entities. So by checking the box for under constrained mode, it'll allow you to import something that has a whole lot of entities that normally sketch mode would choke on. So let's go to the import button over here. And I have a logo, my old company logo, back when I was using the sort of NASA ripoff shape. Hey, let me change the scale of this, and then we can move it around approximately where we want it to be. You'll notice that it is snapping into different locations, but I'm just going to eyeball it here and then hit the check mark. And so in that way, we have the logo brought into the sketch. Let me hit the check mark. And there's one example of a cosmetic sketch. Let's take a look at a, another one. Once again, I will go to the engineering overflow menu and then cosmetic sketch. And I will use previous to get on the same surface. And I need to pick in another reference as well. Again, I'm gonna pick this small, thin sheet metal surface. For the next one, well, a lot of times, like I mentioned, you might want to put some serial number information or something else on here. So it can help to use the text command. And then we will define the vertical orientation. And then for the text, I will just use S slash N for serial number. You could use a parameter as well. And you can change the font and all the other information for how you want the text to appear. I'll click the OK button, and then let's hit the middle mouse button. And you can see that we have some various different dimensions that we can control. So for example, maybe I want it 10 millimeters from there and 40 from here. And I want the height of the text to be 12.5. And then if I'm happy with that, I can hit the check mark. And so that'll end up creating our second cosmetic feature. For the third and final one, once again, let me go to the engineering menu, and here is cosmetic sketch. And before I click on use previous, I want to go to the properties tab and show you another option that you have here. You can add hatching lines to your sketch. And from the drop down list right now, we just have values for one, two, and three for the scale. I'm going to use a scale of one, and you can change the angle. You can also type in a number. But let me go to the placement tab and then use previous to get into sketch mode quickly. And once again, let me pick a reference here. I don't know why it's not suggesting enough references to me, maybe because I'm working in an assembly. But anyhow, I've got enough sketch references. Let's sketch in a rectangle and I'm just going to eyeball it. That's good. Let's hit the check mark. And now you'll notice that our cosmetic feature has hatching associated with it. So there are three different examples of cosmetic sketches. 
One thing to be aware of with cosmetic sketches is that you can't use them as inputs to other commands like you can with a regular sketch, so that's one difference. One command that does work with cosmetic sketches is the project command if you want to take one of these sketches and put it onto a curved surface. Also, another thing to note about cosmetic sketches, if you go to your layers, I have the layers icon in my quick access toolbar. Hey, if you go to create a new layer, you could do it by rules. Let me check the option for independent and associative, then go to edit rules and you can set it up so that your rule is by type. And then if I go to the drop down list for layers, we do have cosmetic listed in here. So you could create a layer for the different cosmetic features in your model. And there you can see the three sketches. And now that I have them in the layer, I can control their visibility by the layer. But let's close out of there. So again, cosmetic sketches, great way for depicting things that you're not actually going to have add or remove material from the model, but you want to indicate additional information in your models. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.